Hi, good morning Esteban. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 9th of January 2022. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Esteban Manor. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 21163242. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right, Mihir. What do you think is the best way to establish rapport with your fellow nurses? I think the best way to establish rapport with my fellow nurses and other members of the healthcare team is to have healthy communication in the workplace. I verbally recognize my teammates for excellent patient care so they know that I notice and value their work. I also make sure to ask for clarification when I need it and repeat what a teammate says to confirm that I understand and that they know I was listening. It's important to work in a respectful and collaborative environment, so seeking assistance and providing it in return has helped me grow my relationships with my co-workers in previous roles. Why did you decide on a career as a nurse? I come from a long line of nurses. Both my grandmother and my mother are nurses. Growing up in that environment and seeing how much they love what they do every day is both inspiring and motivating. I love the challenges and thinking outside the box to come up with solutions keeps me excited and engaged. I'm proud to continue the tradition of nursing in my family. Above all, knowing that I'm truly making a difference in people's lives is what makes it all worthwhile. Describe a time when you took on an unofficial leadership role in the workplace. In my previous role, I had a patient who suddenly went into cardiac arrest. I had to call over my fellow ICU nurses to help me with the life-saving measures the patient needed to survive the incident. In this situation, I gave each of my team members responsibility. As we were working on saving the patient, I paid close attention to how each of my fellow nurses was doing with their task and I was able to step in when one nurse was having difficulties with chest compressions. When your patient is in a critical stage, you must act like a leader and utilize the resources available to you, including your co-workers, to save their life. Tell me what you feel your greatest skill as a nurse is. I'm very proud of my ability to really listen to what a patient is telling me. Having spent the past five years in the medical field working directly with patients has shown me just how far actively listening can go in helping make someone comfortable. My most recent position included working with patients directly in admissions, which meant I was often the first face they'd see when they came in and the last on their way out, as well as everything in between. In that time, I learned that addressing their concerns and making sure they felt we were genuinely listening to them was just as important as receiving quality care. Tell me about a time when a patient's family was dissatisfied with your care. How did you handle that situation? I once was floated to a unit that I had never worked in and wasn't sure where supplies were located. The mother of the patient did not recognize me as a regular floor nurse on the unit and this already made the family leery of me from the start of the shifts. I continually had to prove myself throughout the day because as nurses we all do things slightly differently. There is not always a wrong way or a right way to do things, but in this case, there was a policy to be followed. I followed it and apparently, my dressing change was slightly different than previous ones. I communicated regularly with the charge nurse and she came to check in with the family to address any issues in real time. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patients, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. 
The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahir. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about, and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you, Mahira. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you. Your preparation time is over. You can now start the OIT speaking role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Hello, good evening. My name is Esteban, and I am one of the registered nurses working in the recovery room. Am I talking to Alan's mother? Yes, I am Alan's mother. How is my child? Nothing to worry about. Your son's surgery has been completed successfully. Alan is perfectly all right, and he is under observation for one hour. Oh, thank you. Nurse, I wish to see my son. Well, how may I address you? You can call me, Mahira. All right. Mahira, I can understand a mother's feelings. However, I am really sorry to say that visitors are not allowed in the recovery room. I can explain to you why visitors are not allowed as well. I don't want to hear your explanation. It's my son, who is in the recovery room, after a surgery. I have to see him. Please be calm, Mihira. If I were you, 
I would have said the same. Pardon me, Mihira, I am really helpless in this situation. However, I can assure you that, it won't take too long to shit him, to the ward. Please, nurse. I just want to see him. Mihira, please pay attention to me. First of all, your son will be feeling drowsy, due to anesthesia, and he needs some recovery time, right now. Also, our hospital policy, doesn't allow visitors in the recovery room. As we are considering the recovery room, as a sterile area, no outsiders are allowed. It is for the safety of each patient, as they are prone to infection. I can understand your words. But, nurse, this is the first time, he is at the hospital, for a surgery. Your thoughts are really sensible. Don't worry Mihira. He is safe, here in our hands. I'm glad to hear that. But nurse, I am very much concerned, about his pain. I can realize, how difficult it might be for you, in this situation. Be relaxed, Mihira. There will be no pain for him, due to sedation. Obviously, he won't be noticing it. Yes, Mihira, we have provided, IV injections of painkillers, therefore, he won't experience any pain. Alright. It is really good to hear. By the way, Mihira, do you have any other concerns? Nurse, he hasn't taken food since yesterday. He might be feeling hungry by now. May I know about his diet plans, please? Of course, with pleasure. Thank you. For time being, Alan is asked not to take anything by mouth for one more hour. Afterwards, he can start with a soft diet and can move to a normal diet later on. One more hour. He might be a very hungry nurse. Mihira, as he has some effects of anesthesia, his food digestion might not be effective and may cause nausea, vomiting, and sometimes other complications as well. So, it's better not to give anything by mouth for another hour. I hope it is clear to you. All right. I got it, nurse. Great. Is there anything else that I need to clarify? Yes, please. May I know how long my son wants to stay at the hospital? Your concern is considerable. Perhaps the discharge will be as per the doctor's order. Usually, one to two days of hospital stay will be required. And the discharge decision will be made completely based on the progress of his condition. All right, I got it. Nurse, I would like to know the post-discharge care and management. Could you please brief me? Sure, I'm really glad to explain it. First of all, while bathing, make sure the water doesn't enter the ear. However, it is more of a problem if soap enters the ear through the tubes than if water does. For this reason, when washing hair or showering, use earplugs. On the other hand, washing ears with a face cloth is allowed. All right. I will take care of it. It is mandatory to use earplugs when swimming as well. Mihira, he may experience a slight headache, which is usual and can be relieved by giving your child pain medication as per the doctor's instruction. Alongside, severe pain must be reported to his GP and get definitive treatment. Oh, I see. Surely, I will look after it. Do you have any other questions for me? Not really for now, nurse. That's fine. Thank you for understanding my words. Mihira, always feel free to contact us if you have any other queries. I wish your son a speedy recovery. Thank you. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the very best. Thank you, Mihira. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.